Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. Can I buy Sydney? I've got a, uh, a Mercedes Benz GL 320 with the actual malfunction on the actual cluster for the actual um, airmatic. Same as the Porsche level suspension. They all share the same component, just a different control system. Uh, <clears throat> I had to wire this one up like that because I need to confirm if it is the actual air compressor. I can't just guess, there's no guessing here. I have to make sure it's in black and white. So we replaced the relay last week, and every time I start the car, the compressor will cut in, and then the car will turn off. Um, and I tried to, um, so today I'm just checking the actual, the actual control side from the actual computer to the compressor. So last week, like the video I showed last week, every time the compressor will come on, the, the computer will cut it out because the current draw was so, so high, it cuts the whole system out and the engine will turn off because it's part of the actual, the relay is part of the actual uh, system as well uh, for the level, for the actual airmatic. So I have disconnected the actual, the pressure sensor side. And then now I've checked all that. This control side is fine. So I'm going to start it up and see what happened. As you can see, the car is running and the compressor is not, the car is running and the reason why the compressor is cutting out because there's a short circuit with the actual uh, pressure sensor, which is part of the actual air compressor. So I've disconnected the air compressor sensor side, the pressure sensor side, control side of the actual, sorry, the pressure sensor side of the actual compressor. And now the car is running, not cutting out. So I can confirm that we have an uh, internal short circuit with the actual disc compressor here, causing the car to actually shut down. Uh, so I need to replace the uh, air compressor and then pump it up and check everything properly before we move on. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.